Now let's look at the second concept, controversial issues. What is a controversial issue and what makes it controversial? In Concitizen, we define controversial issues as issues of public importance that generate conflicting views and evoke strong emotions that result in reactions or avoidance. The key terms embedded in this definition are first that we are talking about issues of public importance as opposed to private discussions. They are part of public debate and attention, and most people will have some previous knowledge about these issues from the news, from social media, conversations with family and friends. But our knowledge may be limited to the sources we depend on. Controversy is expressed in situations of profound disagreement and polarization. When we look closer at the conflicting views, these will often be of a kind that divides societies and for which groups hold different opinions and disagree on explanations and solutions. The strong emotions reflect that different people take a position based on different sets of experiences, interests and values. For this reason, the debate on controversial issues may become very polarized and manifest in rough language or feelings of us and them. In some cases, the emotional power of controversial issues will lead to avoidance of the subject out of fear of the conflict potential. But the trouble is that controversy does not disappear when we avoid it. The conflict potential is connected to such concerns that have traditionally caused divisions such as interpretation of history, religion, political options, cultural and national identity. If a conflict is somehow settled or solved, the issue can shift and become less controversial when an agreement or reconciliation is accepted by all parts. Some controversial issues will be sensitive for specific students, parents or teachers, especially those that are related to questions of identity, sexual ethics, family values, culture, religion, social or economical differences. It is worth considering the influence of school leadership and politics. For instance, a school in Northern Ireland with a strong gay-straight alliance group experienced that LGBT plus rights tend not to be very controversial. Contextualization is central in dealing with controversial issues. While some issues may be controversial on a global scale, the dynamics and intensity of specific issues is dependent on context. Whereas the question of civil marriage is controversial in Lebanon, it is completely uncontroversial in Norway. An example from the Danish context is the Mohammed Khatoun controversy from 2005. In Denmark, it was seen as a conflict of rights between freedom of religion and freedom of speech. And the country has a long history of satire and critique of religion. But as it evolved from a local to a global controversy, political, religious and other participants from different parts of the world and with different interests, positions and power issues engaged in the conflict. An analysis of the content and dimensions of controversy will lead to different interpretations and conclusions depending on the context it's seen from and whose perspective or position we choose. Whereas the Mohammed Khatoun crisis turned out to be a long-term controversial issue, others may be of short-term and forgotten or no longer seen as controversial after some time. So it is important to contextualize controversial issues in terms of time, place and situation. But another type of contextualization is the classroom, as the teacher must consider the specific group of students and their possible sensitivities or biases before the introduction of controversial issues.